Welcome to this video on the Employee Self-Service website in Infor Cloud Suite 9020. The Employee Self-Service website allows us to access important human resources and payroll information whenever we need it. We can log in using a web browser to review personal information, enter time off requests, contact HR, check company announcements, view our paycheck details, and more. Starting on the home page, we see a summary of our most recent paychecks. Hovering over the colored sections will display the date of our paycheck and the percentage of that portion. Clicking the title takes us to the Paycheck Detail page. Here we can review the detailed information for a specific payroll check. The drop-down list allows us to select and view previous paychecks. Every page on the Employee Self-Service website includes a menu in the upper right corner that allows us to return to the home page, access all the website pages through these four categories, open the Help, and sign off from the website. We will use the Home icon to return to the home page now. Next, we see the Quick Time Off Request section. Our accrued and taken sick and vacation leave for the year are displayed. We can quickly submit a time off request for a standard 8-hour day by selecting a reason and choosing a date range. We can also click this section title to open the Request Time Off Calendar page. This displays our approved, pending, or rejected time off requests, as well as any company holidays. Here, when we request days off, we can specify a full or half day or a number of hours, and we can add comments to our request. Since I am a manager, I am able to see this employee drop-down field. This allows me to select one of my direct report employees and request time off for them. Announcements cycles through all current company announcements, and clicking on a specific one will provide additional information, if there is any, via the Announcements Viewer page. The Team Members section lists all employees of our company. We can search for a specific employee and view their organizational chart. or we can click the Team Members link to display our organization chart. Weekly Time Off Calendar displays a quick review of the current week. Use the arrows to change the week we are viewing. Clicking the title opens the Time Off History, where we can see all of our approved time off requests for a specific date range and or type. The Employee field is enabled here because I am a manager and can select an employee from the drop-down to view their time off history. Employee Links provides access to forms and other important resources. These will be organized by user-defined categories. This page and the organization chart page we saw previously are both accessible under the Human Resources category of the menu. Under this menu, we can quickly access forms and resources related to our company's benefits, send an email to our Human Resources Department, review our insurance information, and see information about our current position and position history. The Payroll menu contains a page that allows us to view our deduction and earning history for a given check range and type if desired. Selecting Display will open a report form with our chosen information and can be printed using the PDF controls. The Direct Deposit History page will list our direct deposit history for the selected date range and the Hours and Pay History page will show detailed information of the hours and payment amounts for a given check date range. 
Next, we have access to the same Paycheck Detail page we saw on the home page, and we can view our payroll overview. Under the Personal category, we start off with our emergency contacts. Here we can view our emergency contacts, as well as add, edit, and delete records. Education and Awards displays our courses taken, certificates and licenses earned, exams, and awards we've received. The Performance Review shows us our performance review dates. Selecting the Documents button will show us a list of any documents attached to the record we are viewing. On the Personal Information page, we are able to view and edit some of our personal information. The Request Time Off and Time Off History links open the same pages we saw via the home page. Approve Time Off and Team Time Off are pages unique to managers and supervisors. We select our employees from the dropdown and can view any pending requests. Then we select the date ranges of the ones we wish to approve or reject. The Team Time Off Calendar page allows us to review approved time off for our direct report employees. Thank you for watching this video on Employee Self Service in InforCloud Suite 9020.